Welcome family and friends to the services today. For Alfred Abinosa, we're going to start the services off with military honors. So we'll turn the time over to them. Order form. Color guard. Move the flag of the United States Army forward to a place of honor. Dear family members and friends, members of the South Cache American Legion Post 47 and the Utah Army National Guard are honored to provide military honors for a friend and brother in arms, Alfred Buon Abinosa. His mortal life was blessed with happiness and joy because he and men and women like him have served honorably and without hesitation to protect the rights, privileges, and freedoms we all enjoy in this great country. Before us is the symbol of And this flag, the land of the free and the home of the brave. It is the flag of the United States of America. The rifle squad will fire three volleys. The three volleys come from an old battlefield custom. The two warring sides would cease hostilities to clear their dead from the battlefield. And the firing of the three volleys meant that the dead had been properly cared for and the sides were ready to resume the battle. Alfred Buon Abinosa has been properly cared for and his mortal battles are over. At the conclusion of the firing of the three volleys, our post bugler will sound taps. Taps is a living soldier's final tribute and last farewell to a brother in arms who has passed away. I would like to share its last verse with you. Listen carefully and you will hear as the bugler plays. Day is done. Gone the sun, from the hills, from the lakes, from the sky. All is well, safely rest, God is nigh. We would ask that you cover your heart during the playing of taps in respect for Alfred. You may want to cover your ears during the three volley rifle salute because the report from the rifles is rather loud. Following the playing of taps, the flag will be lovingly and meticulously folded and presented to the family. And for now, Alfred Buon Abinosa, good friend to all who knew you. Until we meet again, may God bless and keep you and your family and these United States of America.
Like the military for their honors today, we're going to give them just a few minutes to clean up before we proceed. <laughs> Whether or not you saw wartime, if you signed your name, you're a, you're a veteran. You are an honorable uh, veteran because you're signing your name saying that you're willing to die for your country. And so I have great respect for this man and everyone who has, has served. So the program will go as follows, and I have to apologize, you know, where this is my own family. <laughs> You know, there's a saying, if it's to be, it's up to me. And I, so I should have, I should have done the program myself. So there's a few typos. Sorry, family. But we're going to have an opening song, I Am a Child of God, after which an opening prayer by Vern, Vernon Wagner. After which we'll have a life sketch uh, from Lawrence Abenosa, and we're going to do that through Zoom. And then... Um, we'll have a musical number, The Test. After the musical number, um, Rose will speak to us. And then a closing song, God Be With You Till We Meet Again. Now, if you've ever seen my dad try to fix something, if you've ever seen my Uncle Brian try to fix something, you know that my Uncle Brian has the brain. And so that's why the dedicatory prayer is by Brain Ernstman. <laughs> So we'll, we'll start it off with the opening song, I'm a Child of God. You know, all the verses rose. Oh, Father in heaven, we come before thee at this time with thankfulness in our hearts for the many blessings that we receive. We're thankful for this beautiful sunny day that depicts the life of Alfred Abinosa. We ask the Father that all oh, bless 
him and his family. With all the blessings that they deserve, we ask thee that thou help us to be more mindful of thee and thy son. And to be able to act accordingly as we live our lives. We ask for safety in the activities of this day. We ask for these things in the name of thy son, Jesus Christ. Amen. Amen. Okay, we are ready for the life sketch. Alfred Duan Ebenosa, 87, born on the 16th of June, 1933, in Hilo, Hawaii. He was the fourth of 12 children born to Trinidad Panoy Tamala. After her divorce from Alfred's father, Apollonio Topas Duan Sr., Trinidad married Fausto Yolana Ebenosa of Pahoa, Hawaii, where Alfred spent his childhood days. After graduating from Pahoa High School in 1955, he joined the U.S. Army and received an honorable discharge after completing his military term. He worked for the Transport Company of Texas, stationed in Kwajalein, from 1961 to 1975. <clears throat> he then returned to Hawaii to be close to family. He was employed in sales and office work before acquiring his lawn care business in Kailua Kona. In 2008, he moved to Las Vegas, Nevada, where he resided until his passing on the 15th of August, 2023, due to injuries sustained in a fall. He married Marguerite Pfeiffer Fulton in 1979 and acquired two stepdaughters, Angie and Jill Crable, and Debbie and Ryan Magalanis. Although he and Marge divorced in 1986, Al still embraced his daughters, her daughters, grandchildren, and great-grandchildren as family. Al is preceded in death by his parents, five brothers, and three sisters. He is survived by a brother, Lawrence and Bonnie Evanosa of Sharsville, Pennsylvania, and Mesa, Arizona, and two sisters, Rosemary and Brian Armstrong, and Deborah Lee and Vernon Wagner, both of you, Logan, Utah. He is also surprised, survived by many cousins, nieces, grandnieces, and nephews and grandnephews. In lieu of flowers, the family requests donation to the Fausto and Trinidad Evanosa Scholarship Endowment Fund at Utah State University. 1590 Old Main Hill, Logan, Utah, 84322-1590. The, the funeral arrangements are being ha handled by Allen Hall Butchery on 34 East Street in Logan. Thank you.
like you all again. It would be so easy for him. I watch you when sour question why. Then you, my friend, in perfect faith, reply. Didn't he say he sent us to be tested? Didn't he say the way would not be sure? But didn't he say we could live with him forevermore, well and whole, if we but patiently endure? After the trial, we will be blessed. But this life is the test. Tell me, friend, I see your pain. Why, when you pray in faith for healing, does the crippling thorn remain? Help me see if you understand. Why doesn't he who healed the layman come with healing in his wings? It would be so easy for him. I watch you in, and in sorrow question why. And you, my friend, in perfect faith, reply. Didn't he say he sent us to be tested? Didn't he say the way would not be sure? But didn't he say we could live with him forevermore, well and whole, if we but patiently endure? After the trial, we will be blessed, but this life is the test. Tell me, love. Why must you die? Why must your loved one stand with empty arms and ask the question why? Help me know so I can go on. How when your love and faith sustain me can the precious gift be gone? From the depths of sorrow I cry, the pains of grief within my soul arise, the whisperings of the spirit steal my cries. Didn't he say? He sent us to be tested. Didn't he say the way would not be sure? But didn't he say we could live with him forevermore, well and whole, if we but patiently endure? After the trial, we will be blessed. But this life is the test. Lower. <laughs> On behalf of the Abenosa family, we express our thanks to all who are in attendance in person and via Zoom. A special thanks to our nephew, Dan Ernstrom, in spite of the spelling errors, and the staff at Allen Hall Mortuary for handling the proceedings of this special graveside service to honor and pay our respects to Alfred, child four of 12 children. With his passing, there are only three of us left. Lawrence, child nine, who read Al's obituary, Deborah Lee, child 12, who shared the test, and me, Rosemarie, child 10. We express our gratitude to the members of the Sand Hill Ward in Las Vegas, especially Bishop Grange, Solomon Purdy, and Dee Christensen, who were there to support and encourage him when Al was baptized into the Church of Jesus Christ of Latter-day Saints on Sunday, the 4th of June, 2023. A special thanks to Brother Purdy, who, after church on Sunday, the 23rd of July, listened to the promptings of the Spirit that Al was in trouble, went to his home, found him unresponsive, and swiftly got him the medical attention that he needed. Because of his advanced age, heat stroke, and injuries he sustained to his brain and his back, Al was paralyzed from the chest down with no hope of recovery. Luckily, Lawrence and I were able to spend some quality time with Al in the hospital where he shared his innermost thoughts and desires. First and foremost, he made us promise that his temple work would be done so that he could be sealed to our parents. The family proclamation states, quote, 
In the premortal realm, spirits, sons, and daughters knew and worshiped God as their eternal father and accept his, his plan by which his children could obtain a physical body and gain earthly experience to progress toward perfection and ultimately realize his or her divine destiny as an heir of eternal life. The divine plan of happiness enables family relationships to be perpetuated beyond the grave. Sacred ordinances and covenants available in holy temples makes it possible for individuals to return to the presence of God and for families to be united eternally, unquote. Al understood and cherished the thought that God put us on earth as families, and he put temples on earth so that we could return to him in families. To Al, family is everything. A few days before his passing, Al confided in me and asked what he could do to serve. He said, I want to be a missionary. Well, our very own homegrown modern-day apostle from Logan, Utah, Elder Gary E. Stevenson said that the Savior's greatest commission to feed my sheep can be accomplished through simple, easy, understandable principles taught to each of us from childhood. First, to love. Second, to share. And third, to invite. The per first principle is to love as Christ loved. That was not a problem for Al. He was so full of love, always positive and upbeat. He loved people and made friends easily and stayed true to those friendships, even his childhood friends with which he kept in contact over these many years. But most of all, he loved his family. After his older brothers left home to join the army, Al did everything in his power to make life easier for our mother. His life was one of service to his family and friends. He loved our family and sacrificed so much for us. From the time he was young, he took care of our mother, bought her her first refrigerator, her car. His love for our mother never wavered. At mom's funeral 39 years ago, our sister Gloria, child number six, shared the following. In a beautiful blue lagoon on a clear day, a fine sailing ship spreads its brilliant white sails in the fresh morning breeze and sails out to the open sea. We watch her glide away magnificently through the deep blue and gradually see her grow smaller and smaller as she nears the horizon. Finally, where the sea and sky meet, she slips silently from sight, and someone nearby sighs. There she's gone. Gone from where? Gone from sight, that is all. She is still as large in mast and hull and sail, still just as capable to bear her load. And we can be sure, just as we say, there she is gone. Others say, here she comes, and such is dying. At 11.41 a.m. on Tuesday, the 15th of August, other eyes saw him coming as Alfred Buan Abinosa quietly slipped away from our gaze and our grasp. But let us not be so sad that he has passed away as we are glad that he passed our way. The second principle is to share. Al shared his time and talents with those around him. He gave tennis lessons and shared his passion for scuba diving with others. He shared of his bounty without hesitation. Al's sacrifice for the family has not gone unnoticed by his younger siblings who hold him in high regard. Elder Stevenson further states that when he comes to missionary work, God didn't need you to be his sheriff. He wants you to be his sharer. By sharing our positive experiences in the gospel with others, we take part in fulfilling the Savior's great commission to feed my sheep. Let me share a scripture found in one of our standard works, the Book of Mormon. In Alma chapter 40, verse 12, it says, And then it shall come to pass that the spirits of those who are righteous are received into a state of happiness, which is called paradise, a state of rest, a state of peace, where they shall rest from all their troubles and from all care and sorrow. What comforting words. There is no doubt in my mind that's where Al is. The third principle is to invite. Al's philosophy was one of inclusion, not exclusion. His was an open, an open invitation to friends and family alike. That invitation is still open. Come follow him. Come and see. Come and enjoy. Come and partake of the goodness of the gospel of Jesus Christ. You see, 
Only God can turn a message, mess into a message, a test into a testimony, and a trial into a triumph. Orson F. Whitney said, no pain that we suffer, no trial that we experience is wasted. It ministers to our education, to the development of such qualities as patience, faith, fortitude, and humility. All that we suffer and all that we endure, we endure especially when we endure it patiently, builds up our characters, purifies our hearts, expands our souls, and makes us more tender and charitable, more worthy to be called the children of God. And it is through sorrow and suffering, toil and tribulation, that we gain the education that we came here to acquire and which will make us more like our father and mother in heaven, unquote. Elder Boyd K. Packer, another modern day apostle said, if you have not chosen the gospel of Jesus Christ, it will make no difference in the end what you have chosen instead. Al finally understood that and was so excited to make that bitter choice and to enter the waters of baptism to become a member of the Church of Jesus Christ of Latter-day Saints. God lives, as does his son Jesus Christ, who chose to come to this earth to be crucified for us and to atone for our sins. But most important of all, he was resurrected and broke the bands of death. Death, then, is not the end. It is a transition to our pathway into eternity. Quoting a French philosopher, President Thomas S. Monson said, We are not human beings having a spiritual experience. We are spirit beings having a human experience. Al finished his human experience and his mission on earth, and his spirit has now embarked on that great adventure which someday we too will get to experience. May God grant us the wisdom and the courage to make the better choice so that someday in that not too distant future, we may yet again gaze into the eyes and be grasped within the arms of our dear, dear sweet, beloved Al, eternally. In the meantime, farewell, Al. In the name of Jesus Christ, amen. Our Father in heaven, in the name of Jesus Christ and by the power of the priesthood which I hold, we dedicate this plot of earth as the resting place for the mortal remains of our brother and friend, Alfred Bowan Avenosa. And pray, Father, as we visit from time to time, that this place might be hallowed, that we might remember him. And, it, and his goodness. And we do this in the name of Jesus Christ. Amen.
thank you everyone who um, took part today. That does conclude our services. Thank you.